Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, I'm the Theme Park Evangelist. Welcome to the Hard Rock Hotel here at Universal Orlando Resort. My last but not least, the last, oh, well, the last one, finally, that's what I was trying to say. Mm. Anyhow, um, so I have with me today, Kay, I have a, finally someone d besides uh, TJ with me today. I get a little tired of TJ being with me all the time, to be honest. Uh, we had to keep this a secret from him that we were here today. Hey! Because <laughs> we didn't want him to know that we were here. That way he wouldn't get any ideas of joining us. All these YouTube videos are going to be... Yeah, exactly, because he would have. All these YouTube videos are going to be uploaded to YouTube by tonight. The only nice thing about TJ coming with us is we would have had all day. But unfortunately, due to... The fact that we had to wait on my brother. We didn't get here until way later in the day. So we're going to show you the hotel really quick. Be about 10, 15 minutes, and then we're going to make our way back. Because we only have so much time until the park closes. Then i got to be up early. Like 6, I have to be at work by 6, 15 a.m. That kind of early for work. But it's a short day. It's a seven-hour shift altogether. But most of the uh, job is going to be done in the morning. So let's go check out the hotel. Of course, over here at Concierge, you got a drum set, and then I don't actually know who that is. That's the picture on, that picture on the wall. Uh, that's Maybe obviously Michael Jagger. Jackson. Mick Jagger? Or Mick Jagger. And then me and Kay figured out that guy on the very left over there has got to be John Lennon. And I'm not sure what that velvet place is way over there. Go check it out. Yeah, we could go check it out, why not? They got a really nice uh, lobby over here, as you can see. And they got a restaurant called The Kitchen. Who's this guy? Or who's this? I actually have no idea who that is. He looks like Elvis. I'm pretty sure that's Elvis. But I'm not actually sure who that is. I like that uh, guitar fountain outside, that's kind of pretty. And this hotel is right next to Portofino. That would not be Lady Gaga, right? I don't know what she's doing. She changes so much. Yeah, I know, right? Go That's really get, pretty. You want to go outside and get the fountain? Yeah, why not? That's a cool fountain. Let's go check it out. And here's the uh, front of the fountain. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of that. Yeah, there is no sign on the front. That is weird. On the outside of it, almost looks like a Spanish kind of themed hotel. I'm going to take another picture. That kind of turned out bad. But on the inside, you can definitely tell it's got that uh, hard rock feel to it. And we're going to show you later that there is definitely a rock shop in there. We can go back inside now if you want. I think that's all there really is to see in here. What does it say right here? Save the planet. Love all. Love all. Serve all. And save the planet. Oh my goodness. It's still nothing with hard rock on. Nope. There's the uh, floor. That's really cool. Kay was just telling me a story about sulfur water. You can keep going. I'm listening. So anyways, my friends dropped it. You know, the soap towels that they used to hit the soap plates into the fountain. You look down from the top and all you saw was foam everywhere. You couldn't even tell where the fountain was. That is hilarious. Oh yeah, we're gonna go check out that uh, velvet. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at all the records. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look, Madonna's. Red Hill. Oh, Purple Rain. Purple Rain. I've heard about them. This is probably one of my favorite albums by REO Speedwagon, right there, High Infidelity. I actually Google searched what High Infidelity meant because I didn't know what it meant. That is so stupid. Welcome to Velvet. Every Friday night from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. featured band it is nothing at the moment. Happy Hour Daily from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Select Cocktail 675. That's not terrible. 
So, yeah, as Kate said, it's a bar or a lounge. I, mean, I guess there's some more stuff down here, too. There's a giant mural over here. That's cool. I'm going to get a good picture of this. And I'm not 100% sure what this is, but... Oh, it's one of Rihanna's outfits. Interesting, very interesting. They got some meeting rooms down there. Over this way, we've got the Palm Restaurant and a business center. He was also pointing out, this is Lady Gaga's outfit. Well, one of them anyhow. I'm sure she's got millions of them. I wouldn't be surprised. One of the defining artists of the 21st century, Lady Gaga, is unmatched in her ability to be proactive and challenging while maintaining a mass audience appeal. I mean, I'm not going to read all of it, obviously. Towards the Palm Restaurant, there's even more pictures. Uh, Rod Stewart, is it? Is that Rod Stewart? I'm not sure. It almost looks like him, yeah, doesn't it? I wish they had names on it. That would have helped. I'm taking pictures while I'm walking down. There's a man. And there's... I'll make Jagger again. Is that Angelina looking? Sure looks like Angelina Jolie, is, if that's except who lips, that is. Except the lips aren't that full, but... Mm -mm. I'm not I sure don't know. That's definitely Mick Jagger. Look, Cher, look how young she used to look. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Steven Tyler? Is that him? I'm not sure. Wait. I don't know It would have helped if I had my brother here. He would have been able to point everybody out, but that's okay. I think that's Frank Sinatra. Trying to figure out this is Frank Sinatra or not. That is. It is? It is? Oh, snap. Thank you, sir. I'm guessing someone from the Rolling Stones. I'm guessing the Rolling Cops on his t-shirt. Yeah. That's funny. I'm trying to figure out who this artist is, but he looks like he's from the 70s, as Kate pointed out. Lionel Richie is one of my uh, favorite artists. It might be. Once again, no name as usual, so. Okay, now we know who that is. That was Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, I know him. Stuff. Yes, he did. Here's a really cool picture from the doors. Yeah. That's a really cool picture. I actually have no idea who Quicksilver is. And then Katie was saying that she recognizes this band. And the Grateful Dead, too. Right it sounds like they're performing there or something. I hear guitars playing. Yeah. Who knows who's performing? There's a pretty view of the pool. Uh, no, I did not. I actually don't know who they are. My age group will know who they are. A lot of people in the pool, even though it looks like it's about to storm. Look, guys, I found where the Starbucks is downstairs. And they got a uh, video of some band performing on the big TV. Okay, not sure what this is. Hi-Fi Obey. I'm assuming that's REO Speedwagon. Enchanting sounds of paradise, obey oh, stereo, phonics, recordings. Interesting. Guess we'll hit the rock shop really quick. Let's go hit the rock shop really quick. And here we go into the uh, rock shop. Melissa Efridge. Ooh. Oh, absolutely. I know who. Black Sabbath is. Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando. Since I've already done the Hard Rock restaurant, might as well go in the Hard Rock Hotel, you know? You haven't done the Tampa one yet, have you? Nope. Hi. Uh, just checking everything out. Who that is up there? Actually, I have no idea who that is. Oh look, Hard Rock Hotel shot glasses, that's cute. Kay was showing me this bag, it looks like this is where all the different Hard Rock, Ho Hard Rock Hotels are, just cafes are. Who knows? Where are we looking? Oh, there? 
I don't know. I don't know if that one either. They sort of like zombies. <laughs> I love skull candy. Headphones and earbuds. They have a skull candy, headphones, and earbuds. Those are really nice. This is a big rock shop. This is even bigger than the other one. What other one? Really? Yeah, the circular over there will make it really stuff, but I feel like they have more opportunity to show stuff. Uh, there's tons of memorabilia in the back hanging up as well. Oh, perfect. That's my favorite thing about the hotel, the memorabilia. There is a really nice guitar. It's a tiny little one, but for $240, it's all yours. And then look at this fender about the same size for $240. Oh, look at all the different sunglasses they've got. That's kind of cool. They've got uh, different uh, clothing material back here too. We've just been really enjoying checking out all the uh, memorabilia for the most part, as you saw. That's the main reason why I came over here. Oh, of course, they got sunscreen. This is not your typical hotel, as you can see. And that's why we came over here. Hard Rock Hotel Orlando, established 1971. They've got a lot of black flip flops, that's for sure. They got some bathing suits. Don't mind me. I'm just walking around. And they got all the memorabilia up here. Oh, that's right. They do have more memorabilia. Roger Glover, Deep Purple. Yeah. I feel like I'm taking more pictures than I'm taking video right now. Yeah. We, got, we got more over here, too. Oh my goodness, I guess I'll be making my way around. Yeah, because there's three around behind you. Who is this? This is Brian Wheat. Oh, Who's Brian Wheat? Yeah, he's the guy that owns the Tesla. Oh, Tesla. Yeah, he's the guy that owns the 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 Tesla. Yeah, he's David Hildago? Los, Lo Los Lobos. And Rush, of course. I know you've heard Oh, of my Rush. brother loves Rush. <laughs> okay. And where's that? Well, Alex Lifeson's Rush. Was it that album right there? Oh, oh White that's White Snake. This is White Snake, and then this Oh, one my brother Rush. loves White Snake. Get that one too, then. Oh, I already took it. Okay, cool. Do everybody oh, there. Gloria Stefan. Karen White. Who's this? Let's say I can't even read it. I can't either. Oh, the Beatles. The Apple label was the Beatles. I was getting ready to tell you that. Oh wow. Yeah. I, I don't know how I missed it earlier. I was so busy looking at the guitars.
Like? Yeah. And back, okay. So I had to move, move over. I don't know. This is literally the back of a shirt that says Rock and Roll Soul. That's a cool shirt, though. I'm just trying to figure out how much it was. I don't and there's the hotel rooms all the way down there. Elvis Presley's right behind you. Oh, Elvis Presley's, or one of his outfits, anyhow. One of his more. That's a plain outfit compared to what he was wearing. <laughs> Jam yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's funny. I love listening to Santana. That's a really cool outfit. By the way, Elvis Presley's outfit was pajamas. So it doesn't look like they have a second floor. They got a third floor and a first floor. That's a possibility. Kay pointed out more pictures and we don't know who they are. And she's on ABC. Oh, at least you know who she is. Kind of. <laughs> These people are probably more well known. They have restrooms down here, but the men's restrooms out of order. But of course, a woman's is not. <laughs> and I'm not high bisexual or anything. So I'm, I'm glad I'm not too. Got more pictures down here. Oh, of course. That looks like Elton John, possibly. It's something he would totally wear. That is cool. Oh, this is Lady Gaga over here. I recognize him here. Isn't that Elton John? And that's Lady yeah, Gaga. I have no idea who that is. Leonard Skinner, no kidding. <laughs> I know, I'm making you think fast, am I not? <laughs> More giant pictures down here. It is? EDK. Eddie Money, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. And more hotel rooms. And an eye patch. <laughs> eye patch. <laughs> That's funny. And here is the back side of the hotel right here. I know. I'll even let you take a look at the top. No name. It's got that Spanish feel to it on the outside too. All right, guys. We are going to head over to Islands of Adventure now, and I'm finally going to go use the restroom. So I will see you in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And I'll let uh, Kay get in here. Peace out. <laughs> see you guys in the next vlog, and, and, and peace out. <laughs> I almost repeated myself there. That was stupid. Okay.